to say to you is that when you took over as mayor, you said, I want to be mayor for all Londoners. Um, that includes 40% of people who voted to leave. I wonder what you think they would feel about what you're saying now, given the fact that there is, and trust me, I've searched high and low, there isn't a bit of evidence that any Brexiteer voters want a second referendum. There's not a bit. It is coming purely from Remain uh, voters. That's fine. If they want to call for that, that's fine, including you. The fact is, to somehow say that this is something that people are desperate for because it's actually, you know, they didn't understand, it seems to me that it was Brexiteers, perhaps, who understood very clearly what it meant, and Remainers who somehow didn't understand what it was all about. 40% of Londoners voted to leave. You have to think of those, Mr Mayor, being Mayor of all London. Chair, I'm trying to unpack it some of the points made by um, uh, the Senator that, firstly, look, I accept, and I've said this on a number of occasions, and it's been used against me uh, just this morning, the results of the referendum. The British public, whether I like it or not, voted to leave the EU. The right to distinguish that decision from the negotiation of the government's conducted over the last uh, two or so years. What's clear now is the only deal this government's uh, either able or willing to do is a bad Brexit deal or no deal whatsoever. That is a million miles away from what was promised two or so years ago. And even you would have to accept, even you would have to accept, that there can't have been many people who voted to leave the EU to make themselves poorer. Even you would have to accept, this is there aren't many people who voted to leave the EU to damage the NHS. You have to accept, there aren't many people who voted to leave no. the EU. What, well, so, is it, is it, is this, it, is it being on, on, this is on the stump stuff. You can go through all of those claims, you can go through but, counterclaims. But Chair, with respect really, then. I, all my point about, really, Ms. Mel, is that you talk about it as about people not knowing what the deal or no, or a bad deal would be and all the rest of it. But you're now talking about actually we should have an option for remaining. And I think that your instinct before, at the very beginning, in accepting the, the, the vote was a good democratic instinct. And it worries me very much the situation that could come about psychologically in people's minds if they think democracy is somehow or other can basically you? being uh, ignored, which you are effectively urging. I tell you, Chair, that the problem with the analysis of the Assembly member is on the one hand he's saying what an appalling deal the Prime Minister has done and how the negotiations have been appalling. On the other hand he, he's accepting her framing of the false choice. What is her framing of the false choice? Her framing is either you get no, there's no deal, catastrophic or you've got to accept my bad deal that I've done. Under your framing those are the two options. And Mr. Mayor, I, I, what, what I'm saying is I, people were not voting two years ago or whatever it was now on the type of deal as such. That wasn't their main concern. Their main concern might have been, if you like, quite big ideas or whatever, or philosophical ideas or whatever. But they were not voting on what a deal would be or not, or whether indeed we left without a deal. The point is, we can go on and on talking about the deal. I would be the first to say it's been absolutely appalling the way that they've been trying to do a deal. Um, no one is denying that. What I'm thinking is, as Mayor of London, You've got to remember that 40% of Londoners voted to leave. There is not a single bit of evidence that they want another vote. This is a purely well, Remain argument, Mr. Mayor. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if that's right, by the way. But Some of the polling is in the game. I'm not, by the way, frightened of the second vote. It's, a, it's nothing to do with that. Bring it on. But the fact is, is that this would be appalling for democracy. You are one of the <coughs> major, if you like, figures of our democracy. So that's what you've got to remember. 